Hi there guys and welcome to episode number two in our Trans Sky series. Um, I hope you enjoyed episode one. If you haven't seen episode one, we went spearfishing in Jeffy's Bay and we were there at the Marina Martinique and we launched off Michael's boat. Once again, thank you very much to Michael. Testing out, I was wearing the Salvimar Chronic. Thanks to Louis from Ravi who sent that one over for me to test. And also I was wearing the Salvimar Noah mask that Louis sent over. If you guys don't know Louis from Ravi Tech, uh, go check out Ravi Tech on the internet, Google them. I'll put the links in the descriptions. And then also I was diving for the first time with the free divers fins. Um, amazing fins and also testing out the free diver guns from Shane. We've got amazing manufacturers right here in South Africa. So yeah, if you haven't checked out that episode, go check it out. Just go subscribe if you want to um, see the whole series. This is episode two of seven episodes that we're going to do. So um, in this episode, we travel. We traveled in the first episode. We traveled from George to Jeffrey's Bay, and then we went out at St Francis, and um, yeah, we slept in Jeffrey's Bay in the marina. And in this episode, we're going to leave the morning. We were planning on leaving at five o'clock, six o'clock, but. Um, me and Piet were supposed to work the early morning, but we didn't work. We slept in a little bit, and then we only got a late start. And then, uh, yeah, we we're supposed to drive from Jeffreys Bay all the way to Ndumbi. So, if you look at Google, that's not that far to drive, but Google doesn't tell you that you're going to take uh, two hours to do the last 20 kilometers, and another hour before that to do... 50 kilometers so you're basically doing 80 kilometers in three a little bit more than three hours um, it also doesn't tell you that all the towns you have to go through um, luckily Michael told us uh, to take the, the right path so we went from Jeffreys Bay PE then we turned away we went Grahamstown um, then we went the old Butterworth King Williamstown Road to Ndumbi we tried to miss Mtata because Mtata um, very very busy so yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed and you don't want to miss all the episodes, subscribe. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy this episode. So, morning guys. So, this is day two. Um, we're just downloading everything from yesterday's footage. And uh, yeah, here we have a little fireplace. We've got that going. Evie, stylish as always. <coughs> Evie in the model. We're going to change. Just get the shot of the calves. <laughs> yeah, guys, um, we're having a lot of fun. Day two, we had a very nice night. Uh, Steph's got, got, what? <laughs> Steph's got the kettle going. Um, I had a very nice coffee. Okay, so um, yeah. the guys are getting the gear ready or packing the gear. We washed the gear last night. Maybe what would you say is that? What? That. It's like purple. <laughs> okay, so here's all the gear. We washed the gear when we got back from the scallywag yesterday. Uh, amazing place where we're staying here with Michael. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Marina Mar Martinique. Marina Martinique. Marina Martinique, that's where we're staying. We were staying last night. Um, okay, let me show you some views of the Marina Martinique in the morning. It is absolutely beautiful, guys. Okay, so there's Michael's house. This is where we had a bra last night. And yeah, that's, that's um, the guys living here. So there used to be... Um, they used to be able to go out from here to deep sea, but they closed that down. So the marina is actually three meters higher than sea level. So what they did in the old days is that you enter from the marina and then there's a, there's a uh, wall. And you enter um, and then they lock the wall behind you and the water level goes down three meters and then you enter the harbor. I'm going to try and show you the photo of how that worked um, back in the days but they closed it down due to cost effectiveness they couldn't do it anymore yeah okay so i'm gonna try my best to show you this oh, okay the night's causing a little bit of havoc. okay so here you can see you used to come in from the this is from the marina side you drive your boat to uh to there yeah in that little channel over there 
and then they would lift that wall would be closed yeah that wall would be closed on that side um, okay so then what happened is that they would um, if you drive from this side in with your boat that wall would be lifted so that water is three meter above the sea level and then they would close that wall over there they close it and that water would drain out and then you had the same sea level and then you can exit out the harbor um, this is while they were bu building it okay so then when you come back again you come back in you drive your boat into a little channel they close the wall behind you and then they lift the water up to three meters again and then they open that wall for you and then you just drive back into the marina it's got of the shame. peak of shame on like we said last night it's got the peak of shame on for um <laughs> let's see the eyes there <laughs> it's got the beak of shame on <laughs> for his mishaps with uh, Miss Lucy. Uh, if you haven't seen the first episode, make sure to go check out the first episode. Uh, we were out on the scallywag yesterday at um, St. Francis and all around the place. Filming the like the towel in the back of his car back, so it's like a little picture of a towel. Yep, yep, then you see him yep, and he's standing. <laughs> <laughs> then you see him standing like this and he's going like this. He's like this. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, we wanted to stop here at this part, and all of a sudden the DMD guys pulled up the Nawi freediving team. So yeah, if you haven't seen their fins and you haven't been to a Nawi freediving um, course, I'm gonna put all their details in the description as well. Check all the. Check all the gear they've got here. Uh, they're busy, they're on their way. They were Jeffrey's yesterday. They're on their way. The DMD fins, they've got oh, fins. awesome custom fins. One custom art, we're going to fins, bags. one fin bags. Custom uh, carbons. Custom carbons, anything, guys. These are awesome, awesome, awesome fins. Look at the artwork on those. Gear go. carbons, they've got everything you need in fins. I'm going to put the links in there for you. I'm going to put all the links in the description for you. Yeah, so quickly stop here. DMD, Derek, and Matt from Nawi Freediving. I'm going to put the links in there. If you need freediving advice, they are also Spiros. If you need any advice on freediving, contact them, get on the courses. And uh, yeah, it's awesome running into these guys. They actually drove past and they saw the green boat and they said, listen, you have to stop here. And they came looking for us in this part. Awesome meeting up with the guys. So, um, as you can see by the rural by the rural roads that we're doing now, our navigator, our navigator, the um, the problem is once Blom starts to talk, there's there's, there's no focus. Okay, so we are close to the Trans Sky now. If you if you can see by the way that we are driving on the gravel road, that we are very close to the Trans Sky. It's our little final bit. Um, nice estuaries here we've got um, our navigator has done the trans sky trip in 45 minutes basically so we've, we've done uh, 800 kilometers in 45 minutes thanks thanks peak of shame peak of shame. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah but actually we are just lost just out of jeffrey's we're already lost we're not even in the trans sky yet yep yeah we go underneath the n2 now so not not going to plan not not a great plan yet. <laughs> Okay, so we are around about 100 k's away from King Williamstown and we've got a flat, our first flat. Um, but luckily we are prepared we've got the compressor with us and <clears throat> we do have a spare but i think it's a slow puncture we're going to check it out now um, and then we'll see if we can get all the way to king willington and get, get fixed quickly yeah so yeah but we it's not a major issue just a quick quick stop um, and then uh, we're on our way again It's doing some work. He was supposed to get a five o'clock this morning, but he didn't. So he's catching up on work now. Guys, so guys, uh, just a quick update on our journey. We had to put the spare wheel on. And that other one uh, did not work. We fixed it. We got to King Williamstown, and now we fixed it. So yeah, <clears throat> we're off again. Luckily, 
We've got the spare wheel on the trailer as well. So that one is also a six wheel Hilux rim. So it will fit on the bucky. So we do have two spare wheels for the bucky. And the bucky spare will also fit on the trailer of the of the um, boat. So we do have we do have um, two spare wheels with us. So that's when we came prepared for that. So yeah, King Williams. And now we're gonna head. I don't know what the next town, town is, but uh, we've got about four. Yeah, we've got about four, four and a half hours drive left. Evans disappeared. Evans disappeared and there's some photo shoot going on on the gecko. <laughs> so yeah, friendly, very friendly people here in King Williamstown. Uh, I don't know where Evan is, maybe he's been stolen. Does anybody know where Evan is? He's been stolen and his organs have <laughs> been sold on the black Doesn't market. He needs a pie or, or Russian. So yeah, we while we were um, while we were driving, we decided there's like a front team and a back team. So the back team will consist of of Piet and Evan because they've got reef socks and Rob Allen this exact same Rob Allen um, pants and the exact same reef socks. And they're both um, using Rob Allen guns. Yeah. Yeah. So, the only guns, okay. Here is Evan. Okay. <clears throat> Just explaining Evie about the, the front team and the back team at the moment. So, me and Steph's gonna be um, the front team. So, we are leading 1-0 yeah. because um, they didn't shoot anything yesterday. Me and Steph each got a parrot. And um, I know Evie's complaining about that we shot the parrot and it's not really. Um, the winning fish but they didn't shoot anything so we've got two parrots and they've got nothing so we're leading so yeah back on the road again okay oh long time ago okay so after um, a very exciting day very long day of um, driving we're still on the road after a flat tire um <clears throat> yeah the road is um the we're driving but uh we're not going at all actually it's like zero kilometers per hour so there you can see we still have hmm, 21 minutes to do 12k so Hi! The road should get a little bit better because we've been doing like two kilometers in half an hour. So, yeah, but it's not good, guys. Um, yeah. Evie, please explain. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> yeah. Sharon, you come over here by you. Thanks, Evie. Because I know you get this quick. So Evan is running in front of the car to show us where the good patches is. <laughs> where the bad patches is. <sighs> okay, here we've got. <laughs> come, come, come. Cut the ball. Cut the ball. <laughs> okay so guys that wraps up episode two in episode three uh, a lot of stuff's happening we're doing our first time that we launched the boat we realized that the trailer broke we had to do repairs on the trailer we've got uh bry 
Um, so many stuff happening in, in episode 3 so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss episode 3. Here's some clips that you're going to be seeing in episode 3. I hope you enjoy.